Migrating shorebirds fly long distances and require a lot of energy to do it. Although they try to put on weight before leaving home, staging areas are critical for a successful trip. A staging area is a place on the way that birds know will contain lots of food at the right time. For shorebirds traveling through the center of North America, Cheyenne Bottoms in central Kansas is a critical stopover. Different species use different feeding techniques. Dowagers probe in shallow water like sewing machines. Evocets sweep as they walk, waiting to contact something edible. Plovers run along the sand, snapping up any insect or crustacean they encounter. Godwits probe deep, searching for aquatic worms. But for amazing, you just can't beat Wilson's phalarope. Phalaropes are visual feeders. Their eyes are not far back on their heads. They can see forward with binocular vision for depth perception. They will eat walking, but prefer to swim in still water where they famously spin round and round, flushing food from the bottom. As it rises to the surface, they grab it. Sometimes they follow a bigger bird and eat what it scares up. And they love crane flies and brine flies, which are already at the surface. All that's fine, but do you notice something unusual? She swallows the food without tossing it or tilting her head back to let it run into her mouth. She sort of chews it and it runs uphill. How does that work? The answer came in 2008 from researchers at MIT. The water's surface tension makes the food travel up the bill. It's called the capillary ratchet. By opening and closing its bill, the phalarope causes a drop of water and the food item it contains to move. Opening the bill always causes the droplet to move where the separation of the mandibles is less, toward the mouth. Finally, the bird's tongue can grab it and down it goes. Other species with longish bills may do this too, like Dunlin and Snipe. The Godwits are just a little different. Not depending on surface tension for the larger morsels they capture, godwits toss and grab, moving their heads forward to reacquire the food until it's close enough to swallow. These are efficient ways to fuel up on large numbers of small items in the least amount of time. And time is something a shorebird migrating thousands of miles in a few weeks doesn't have to waste.